What's going on guys? Welcome to Insurmountable, a game about climbing mountains. That's all I know. Um, no, I don't know if I went earlier, but I'm a first place player. Beginners? Yeah, I'm a beginner. I have no shame in saying I'm a beginner. Let's go into it. The beginning. Insurmountable. Uh, in order to successfully clear a mountain, you have to navigate your character along the tiles to the marked coal. Time will not pass, and your stuff will not change until your character moves. Left click a tile. A valid tile added to add a checkpoint, which the character should move. You can add checkpoints by clicking other valid tiles. Click the final checkpoint again to start moving. Right click to stop character's movement or move the final checkpoint. Your character walk faster. Okay. Oh. You guys are gaze the enormous mountain landscape. You've traveled across the globe seeking out adventure, but this island is nothing like you've ever seen before. As far as you can tell, it is largely unexplored. The only information you can find were a few rumors on an occupying unknown. Over here, you stumbled across abandoned property and lost places. You wonder what happened here. What secrets the island is keeping. When you shake your head, it might be nice to have some answers. But your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That is why you are here. That is what drives you. I can only see so. Energy, oxygen, sanity, body temperature, okay. Hold V and move the mouse to look around. Move the mouse while holding the middle. Zoom in and out by scrolling the left roll, okay, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Just when catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You fail wildly with your arms trying to keep your balance. Suddenly someone grabs your wrist and pulls you back to the edge. That was close, just a second later, and you would have fallen to your death. You sternly tell yourself you need to pay more attention. No need to press your luck when there was danger at every turn. You need a week to take a look at your rescuer. She's a young woman with a threadbare anorak. There was a green stone fastened on her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Its soft glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and, without a word, holds out some provisions for you to take. You want to give her something in return? So you search through your pack, you finally find something and look up. The strange woman is gone. A bizarre meeting, but you can't help but be grateful for her help. She gave me oxygen. Hey, yo. Inventory and items. You can access your inventory by pressing the button on the screen use, or using the corresponding hotkey. You can only access your inventory when your character is standing still. Certain items are consumed when they are used. Other items can be equipped to your character and remain active when equipped. Right click items with the mouse to use them. Click and hold the left button to drag and drop. When you find an item, you put it in your inventory or you will lose it when you close your inventory. Some items can be used multiple times as indicated by the Usage bar on the item. If the item is not currently being used, it displays a darker color. Cannot currently be used. You can view more information about the item by hovering your mouse over the item. This will display a preview of the item's effects.
can't really tell what what is there. Is it this one or is it? It has to be, right? It's not. Okay. So I got some chest here. I can think of it. Crystalline frost. A smooth sparkly spark has dried in the surface, covered a delicate, complex pattern of ice crystals that remind you of saplings, ferns, and blossoms. A beautiful sight. These are the patterns of frost transfixed. They might be a collection of water molecules, but they symbolize the beauty and diversity of life. The longer you play with them, the stronger you feel. <laughs> Yo, plus three energy and experience. Thank you. Let's go here. Apparently, <laughs> I can't see. Can I? Wait, how do I move my camera around? Oh, I can't zoom out. Did I just undo everything I just did? I know I'm not playing around. No one turned an extensive network of caves towards the rear. You notice an extreme campfire lying in front of it, a stranger bundled up under a full blanket. Yeah, maybe not the smartest idea. I can't zoom out. Why can't I zoom out? I'm gonna lose so much sanity. Oh, deep snow. First ascent, basic values. Oh, this is taking like a long time.
Oh, this is like a, probably like a harder path. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, tooth, uh, toothless smile and motions to you to sit with her to protect your strength. So you suggests you do. Hmm. I wonder if I should reassess. It's gonna take some energy getting down, but might be better in the long run to go this other path. Is it night time now? So this is a way to restore energy. There are three ways to do this. You can look at the cave symbol, map made to camp there. You can use a tent in your inventory. Go to sleep without a tent. This is negative effects on your stacks, so it should only be a last resort. Rock. Okay. Oh wait, this is gonna take me, wait a minute. So the rubble rock by rock, you don't want to take any risks, you check it just to graze. Okay. Weather, energy and time, clear weather, no effects, cold weather, body temperature, stormy weather, negative effect on energy and time. Wait. How do I look around? Wait, is that possible? I have six energy. How do I look around? I want to get over there. Can't zoom out now. That looks critical your path.
See, it's not doing what I want it to. I lose a bunch of sanity. Oh, God. Why can't I zoom out? I don't understand. So all I can do is just continue because I can't see what I'm doing. Stop. No. Okay, stop. I really have to walk all the way around just to get there? What? That doesn't make sense. I'm not, that's not the path that I chose. I'm so confused. Oh, so what I'm hearing is I've just fucked myself? Rocket debris, as far as eyes I can see, you balance carefully, the bulldozer to not slip suddenly right in front of you, shadow is and versus the broadcast shot, you jump in fear, losing your own the crystal ground, you look up and see a, a mountain there. You scrape your knee because of a bunny. <laughs> no, I want to go here. <laughs> okay, so I, can say, I was adding a bunch of other stops. I wasn't... Unless that's in this bucket, you probably defy. Definitely search for gaps between the enormous. Uh, sharp point object boring at your shoulder, was pressed together and pain. You turn back, it's just not worth it. <sighs> I've injured myself twice now. Leveled up. Okay. Whenever you, you all of it, controlled breathing increased. Okay. Uh, plus oxygen moving plus twenty maximum oxygen. Warm thoughts. I need extra energy just right now. Yeah. Okay. Let's. So if I want to go, I want to. I want to go here. Up the summit. A stranger is sitting motionless on a rock. His naked torso is adorned with a number of tattoos, strange patterns, and symbols. Those mostly worn by spiritual leaders and local indigenous people. It's bitterly cold, and you wonder whether the stranger has frozen to death. Opens his eyes and gives you a stern look. Looks like he's alive. Stranger mutters a few words in form which you don't understand, but by the sounds of it, he's not too happy about your attention to come you. He then jumps and disappears behind a rock. I lost sanity. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Abandoned relay radio station. You cannot move your eyes. They fall on tennis, blocking your path. You climb over the iron struts. You notice an open crate amidst all the metal. You allow your belly to reach in it and fish out a few provisions to try to get back up. You lose your balance, falling forward and gashing your knee. I got food, but I hurt my leg again. <laughs> I need sanity, yeah. Let's go. Is it this one? Let's go there.
wolf's head. You come across one of a wall, a weathered, that stares at you with Well, I guess I continue my journey. Um, let's let me go right here. I think it's gonna take a lot of the rest of my journey. Uh, so we'll get here probably. Take a nap. In front of you, rocks and stones have been meticulously pop up to form around a grove up here. This shouldn't be deserved as you as a fair brief stop in one. I gain some sanity and some experience and I take some I take three hours. I take three hours to mourn the dead. Hope the dead is happy. I slept for nine hours. Holy shit. Let's go. No, okay. Let's just go here. I'm cold. Oh, yeah. Let's straight climb it, baby. You trip and bang your knee. Oh my lord, I'm just so injured prone today. You trip and bang your knees, cursing the storm, you kick up the rock. You tripped over, revealing a crack in the ground. It seems as though someone has used this crack to hide their possessions. Through the little crack and gracing your fingertips feels like a thin book of sorts. The book, the frozen earth has not been kind to it. You skim the handwritten notes. They were penned over 50 years ago, long before. And some provisions. I get hot tay. Oh, I have. Oh, okay. Leveled up again. I can't see anything. Sleeping, we are sleeping through the day. I slept through a lot of the day, so. But I missed the storm. We're gonna spend a lot of energy trying to get up. Better to cross up the rocks than this, but I'm missing, you know, a few events. Uh, oh my my ankle. As you hop from rock to rock and skin the zone as quickly as possible, you twist your ankle, you open pain, but you hobble until you feel the firm ground beneath you again, you possibly have an injury, your ankle's already swelling up. I oh my lord.
let's Still over the course with the deer with the center decay, the animal died unreasonably. The rains chewed herbs, clung to its snouts, but we'll probably still undigested you cut over the herbs. Sure, let's go to try. Undigested herbs. <laughs> Moon herbs! A slope filled with rubble, even if the erasure of them. The first rock rolls out from you, fell a short distance down the slope. It's painful. Well, fuck you. Let's keep going. Let's take that back. Let's walk one more. And do brandy bottle followed by a vacuum plus full of tea and a torch and they stop you from stopping anything. You don't pack those strangers alive somewhere. They probably need those tours. Let's just move as much as I can. I'll stop if I have to. Mm-mm-mm. First pile up high, there must be an avalanche here recently as you trudge through the city. Five and plus quality, this half buried in snow. Take the tea, let's confirm this level up. Oh, limited time effect, oh. Let's take the lifelong. I wanna go, I don't wanna go there, I wanna go here. It's gonna take last my energy, but I'm getting to a to a thing, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You've been in camp, there are a couple old empty. You take the time to search the tent. Would you okay carefully? Oh, the stranger got hit. I don't want to. I killed a stranger. That's fine. Fuck him. Right? Okay, I'll stop. Make our way over here. If I go here, yeah, that's me down there. So then let's go boop, boop, boop.
Are you march up you march up where the wind has leveled your past and clear snow endless uniform shape as you take the slipper on the sun you slip and land. When you're behind you slide down the slope with your breakneck speed, your arms slowly wildly finally come to stop your heart. Let's stop. That takes four. That takes nine. So what if we just do... Do that. Okay. Anyone home? You catch the end of a wind, burning wood. You fall the nose and... Did you tent next to the tent? Is that going embers of the campfire? I'm going to find that sulfur miles. Oh, I, yeah, I'm taking this guy's tent. Oh, fuck yeah. suck, but uh, I'll just start it. Stop. Notice a rope that's been stretched across it. Who would have done that? And can you risk using it? Let's go here first. Ruins, you have the torn tent. You could take time to search. Let's search. Nothing useful, that's okay. Mm. Pursue on. And if you make you find a thick book of leather. Genus Homo, a hirsute human like creature, almost tempting to remind you of the legend of Yeti. Hmm. Let's. Okay. So let's go here. I'm going to hold it straight up. And then down here real fast. Um, it looks like all I gotta do is get like. Okay, wait. Let's go here and then up, and then here, 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 and here. Actually, let's stop. Okay, no, I can make this way without running out of energy. You see footprints in the snow in front of you. They've almost been swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large, like those of a giant. And it would appear this giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks to the crevice. When you end at the bottom of the crevice, you can make out a scrap of cloth. If someone fall on there, you could jump across and pick up the trail on the other side. Don't have the energy. Yeah, I don't have the energy, so. I'm just gonna keep moving. Uh, let's eat this, this, and this. So also take some oxygen, and let's finish. Oh, I. Oops. <laughs> Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the climb is already forgotten. 
You savor the moment. It is yours and yours alone. What an adventure. What a view. Off in the distance, you can see more mountains, higher than the ones you are standing on. And what's that? Something stands atop one of them, long and thin. From this distance, it looks like an antenna, but that can't be right. Or can it? You want to take a deeper look? You aren't done exploring yet, but first you have to get out of the dead zone and find a safe place to take a break. Plus health, energy, you get a little bit of everything, yeah. Alrighty, and this is where we're going to end this episode of Insurmountable. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.